Hello everyone, this is our 16th um, video tutorial on the GCSE topic revision guide called Direct and Inverse Proportion. Uh, there's a very minimal amount of theory on this topic. Let's look at some couple of exam style questions and see whether you understand the theory. Let's look at some exam style questions. Um, if you want the tutorial, you can download the tutorial from our website at www.smart-tutors.com forward slash worksheet.php. Under the eleven section, you can download the tutorials. Um, let's look at the questions now. Question number one. Y varies inversely as the cube of X. So first of all, let me underline why is the letter varies. So there's a proportional given inversely cube of X. So these are the two things you need to remember. So Y inversely proportional to cube of X. So X cube. So Y proportional to one over X cubes inversely means one over. There's a two topics here, direct proportion and inverse proportion. Let me do some questions and show how to um, make this equation and substitution works. So y proportional to one over x cubed. So you have to make it as an equal by um, changing the proportionality to equal sign by introducing the k. So k over x cubed. So that is the relationship is given then they're giving y equal 24 x equal 2 so y equal 24 x equal 2 so k over x equal 2 means 2 cube so 2 cube is 8 so k equal 24 times 8 which is k equal um 32 3 remaining 16 192 so after this one you can write the equation as y equal k which is 192 x cubed so this is the equation and now the question is find the value of x when y equal minus 3 so when y equal minus 3 find the value of 192 over um, x cubed. So I'm going to multiply the cross multiply. So minus 3 cubed minus 3 x cubed equal 192. So x cubed equal 192 divided by minus 3. So x cubed is equal to minus 64. So x equal cube root of minus 64. So minus 64 cube root, you can use the calculator. The answer is minus four. So that is our first answer question for, for question number one. Um, question number two, S is inversely proportional to, so again inverse, cube of T. So T cube. When T equal four, S equal half. So I can change this as an equal sign s equal k over t cube. s equal half, so half equal k t, so 4 cube. So 4 cube means like a 64. So half equal k over 64. So if I cross multiply, 2k equal 64 so k equal 32 right so s equal 32 over t cube right so now find the value of s when t equal 8 so 32 over 8 cube so s equal 32, 8 cube means 8, 8 and 8. So 8 can be go on a 4, 4 is going to be 1 and 2. So the answer is S equal 1 upon 
2 times 8 is 16. So that is our final answer for question number 2. Question number 3. M is directly proportional to L cube. So here the important word is a directly and L cube. So M proportional to not 1 over directly means L cube. So M is proportional to L cube. So to change it to equal sign M equal to K L cube. Now the given value L equal to M equal 160. So M equal 160 K times 2 cube. So 2 cube is 8. 8 K equal 160. So K equal 20. So the answer for the M equal 20 L cube. So that is the equation of the question. Now find the value of M when L equal 3. So when m, e, m equal 20 times 3 cube, we all know 3 cube is 27. 27 times 2 is 54 with a 0, 540. P is inversely proportional to V. So P is inversely proportional to V. So there's no cube or square or something, just V. So P equal K over V. So P equal 5 equal K, we don't know what is K, and V equal 8. When I cross multiply, K times 1 is K, 8 times 5 is 40. So P equal 40 over V. So that is the equation of the question. They are asking what is P? So P equal 40 over V. Now calculate the P when V equal 2. So P equal 40 over 2. So 40 divided by 2 is 20. So the answer is 20. Question number 5. P is inversely proportional to careful square of x squared. So square of x squared. So P equal K over x squared. So given that x equal 5, when p equal 6, 6 equal k over 5 squared, right? Cross multiply, k times 1 is k equal 6 times 5 squared is 25. So k equal 150. So that is the value of k. So if you substitute the k value, p equal 150 over x squared so that is the answer for the equation now you need to know what is the p value when x equal 8 so 150 8 squared so now we need the calculator to find the answer then answer in the two decimal place let's open the calculator so 150 so 150 and down 8 squared, 8 squared. So the answer is 75, so 2.34375, 2 2.34375, 2.34375. 2 so two decimal place means you need to round up. So P equal 2.34. So the third decimal is less than 5. So round down. So that is the answer for the question number 5. Question number six, M is directly, so M directly proportional to L cube. So M equal K L cube. L is two, M is 80. So 80 equal K times two cube. So 80 equal K times eight. So eight K equal 80. So K equal 10. So the equation M equal 10 L cube. So this is the equation we need to substitute the value. Read the question, find the value of M when L equal five. So M equal 10 times five cube. So 10 
times 5 cube 125 so 1 2 5 0 so that is the answer for question number 6 question number 7 p is inversely proportional to x so p is inversely proportional to x right given that x equal 5 p equal 3 find the value of p when x equal a to the two decimal place so the normal question so p equal to k over x so when p equal 3 x equal 5 so k over 5 so cross multiply k times 1 is k 3 times 5 is 15 so the answer is p equal 15 over x so this is the equation of the um, for the question now the answer is p you can find out p 15 over 8 to the two decimal place so use the calculator uh, 15 divide by 8 so that is going to be uh, 1.875 so the answer is 1.875 and now p equal 1.88 for the two decimal place so that is the answer for question number seven question number eight y is inversely proportional to d squared so y is inversely proportional to d squared right so y equal k d square right d equal 10 y equal 4 so 4 equal k d is 10 square so 4 over 1 so k times 1 is k equal 4 times 10 square which is 100 400 so the answer for y is y equal 400 over d squared. That is one of the equation for the given information in this first two sentence. The second and third sentence is d is a different formula. So d is directly proportional to x squared. So if you make it as an equation, so kx squared, is a different k it's not the same k so if i make it as a k1 this one this is k2 it's a different totally different k not the same constant as before so you need to change as for the d so the d value is given 24 equal k2 x is 2 square 2 square is 4 so 4 k2 is 24 so k2 is a different value so 24 divided by 4 is 6 so k2 the answer is 6 so the equation turn into d equal 6 x squared now from this one the find the formula for y in terms of x so y is in d squared but we don't need the d squared we need to give the answer in x squared so d is this means d squared equal 6 x squared whole thing squared which is 6 squared is 36 x to the power 4 y equal 400 over d squared is 36 x to the power 4 so if we can simplify this one uh, if i divide both top and bottom by 4 y equal 100 over 9 x to the power 4 so that is the equation for the y in terms of x question number nine m is directly proportional to l cube so m is directly proportional to sorry l to the power 4 so make it as an equation so m equal k l 4 so when l equal 2 so m equal 160 so 160 here k 
times 2 to the power 4. So 2 to the power 4 is uh, 16. So 16k equal 160. So k equal 10. So the equation is m equal 10 l to the power 4. So that is the equation of the question number 9. Now find the m value when it gets to l equal 3. So 10 times 3 to the power 4. So 10 times 81 times 10. So 810 m equal 810. Question number 10. X is inversely proportional to y squared. So X is inversely proportional to y squared. So X equal k y squared. So X equal 3 equal k y squared is 2 squared. So k equal so 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So now you can write the equation x equal 12 over y squared. Now calculate the value of x when y equal 4. So 12 over 4 squared is 16. So 4 goes into 3 and 4 goes into 4. So x the answer is 3 upon 4 is y uh, so x value so x value equal um, 3 upon 4 question number 11 a directly proportional to uh, b so a equal so this is a two separate thing so two different data is given so i'm going to use the k1 for the first one so k1b so a equal 8 and k1 b equal 2 so 2k1 equal 8 so k1 equal 4 so a equal 4 b so that is the relationship for the first given uh, details the next one a is inversely proportional to 1 over c squared then change it to a equal k over c squared so a equal 10 k over c squared is 2 squared so 2 squared is 4 4 times 10 is 40 so 40 equal k so a equal 40 over c squared so that is the second relationship for the the second uh, details given in the separately find a formula for the positive value of c in terms of um, b so what is the positive value of c so we need to get rid of the a so the both of the answers are in a so equate the answer so 4b equal 40 over c squared cross multiply so 4b c squared equal 40 times 1 is 40 so c squared equal 10 over b so if i divide by 4 is 10 10 over b so or if you don't know how to separate this one so 40 over 4b actually so if i times uh, divide by 4 goes into 1 this is goes to 10 so 10 over b so the final answer c is square root of 10 over b so plus or minus plus or minus 10 over b so plus is the only value you need to take because it says positive value question number 12 l is inversely proportional to square root of m and l equal k over square root of m l equal 35 k k square root of 100 square root of 100 is 10 so k equal 35 times 10 is so 
the square root of 100 is 10 10 times 35 is 350 so the answer is l equal 350 over square root of m so l equal 350 over square root of m work out the value of m when l equal 700 so 700 equal 350 over square root of m so now what we want to do, find out so m is the our main thing so cross multiply 700 square root of m equal 350 so square root of m equal 350 divided by 700 we know cut 0 cut 0 35 1 35 2 so this is going to be 1 over 2 so square both side this is going to be m equal 1 upon 4 so that is the answer for the m so m equal quarter is the answer for the p question number 13 it is given that L varies directly as M. So L proportional to M. So L equal KM. Now L is given L is 6. So 6 equal K times 18. So K equal 6 over 18 and it's 1 over 3. So the answer for L is L equal 1 third m or if you like you can write l equal m over 3 find the l when m is 33 so find the l m is 33 33 over 3 so 33 divided by 3 11 so l equal 11 find the m when l is 8 so l equal m over 3 so find the m so m equal three times l so three times eight which is m equal 24. question number 14 p is inversely proportional to square of x squared so careful with the wording sometimes you quickly write as x it's not x x squared square of x so p equal k over x squared so p is given 1 k we don't know x squared is 3 squared which is 9 so k equal 9 so the equation we are going to write p equal 9 over x squared so find the value of p when x equals 0 0.5 so find the value of p so 9 over 0 0.5 5 whole thing squared so p equal so 9 i'm going to do some 0 0.5 just think this is a non-calculator paper 0 0.5 is half so half squared so this is going to be 9 over 1 upon 4 so 9 divided by 1 upon 4 so 9 divided by 1 upon 4 means which is equal to 9 times 4 upon 1 so which is 36 so the answer is p equal 36 question number 10 i think that is the end of the tutorial um tut question number 14 is our end of the tutorial question so you i hope you understand this tutorial and understand the direct and inverse proportion questions and if you like to download the tutorial, what we discussed in the video, uh, please download it from our website at www.smart-tutors.com forward slash worksheet.php. Under the E11 section, uh, you can download the tutorial. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, for, um, for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.